Another, um, if you have looked on the court docket, you would see that a trial is scheduled for the end of March. Um, so I'm not sure what's, what's happening with that at this point. So how did it to yesterday where you were supposed to uh, surrender your son? That is un that is an unlawful order because he doesn't have a valid oath of office. He doesn't have jurisdiction. The Constitution uh, says all men are created equal. Um, he doesn't have the power to tell me when and where I cannot parent. That is a, that I have a fundamental constitutional liberty to you know to raise my child. Um, we are being hunted down by by corruption, by greed, by wickedness and and evil. Um, and I have a duty as my son's God-given mother to protect him. And uh, Cleve Colson asked me on Thursday at, at that hearing, I mean, violation after violation, there's another little part I'll, uh, I'll mention here in a second, but he's, you know, he kept saying, Miss Stanley, does that suit you? And I said, no, it does not suit me. You need my consent to go forward. And this is what people, we the people need to realize. Courts don't have power over you. They need to have your consent to go forward. And I, your people's rights are being stolen right and left. And I am standing up for my rights, and I'm being retaliated against that. The other thing is at 1.11 p.m. on Thursday, February 24th, Colson closed the courtroom. He had signed it at 1.11, closed the courtroom. The court hearing via Zoom was at 1.30. And um, that is against um, judicial code of conduct. That is against the Constitution. Um, he made a serious error. You have to have the public courtroom in the interest of justice. And it's also a violation of the First Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, and the Fourteenth Amendment. Um, so he violated that even before the court hearing got started. Um, it is very clear that Colson doesn't understand law. Um, and all my documents that I have filed into this case are all law based. Um, another thing, if, if you don't, if you aren't aware of this, is that judges um, in this country are still active bar members, which is a title of nobility, and that is against the Constitution. You cannot be a judge and have an active title of nobility. So just by that right there alone, he doesn't have any authority or power to tell me when I can go to the bathroom, what I can eat, and what I do with my child. That is my God-given right to parent my child the way I see fit. Um, and so these orders, um, in quotes, they're not actual orders. Orders are not law. Um, it's, they're not constitutional. And so, these so orders... What, what would you say about the father of the child and his God-given right to father the child? He is a perpetrator, and my child is not safe with him. <clears throat> and that will um, he's he is in the federal lawsuit right now. That's pending in well, it's still active in in federal court in Idaho. But but if you um, if you're saying that judges don't have the authority, how would a federal judge have the authority in this federal lawsuit to do anything? Uh, because it's a Title 42, Section 1983, Section 1985 for deprivation under color of law, my rights. Okay. Um, I, I don't, what does that mean? That means it is a crime, uh, Section 242, Title, Title 42, I believe. Um, it is a crime to violate somebody's rights. Um, and uh, the punishment for that is uh, uh, it varies from uh, life in, in federal prison or uh, uh, death. And my rights have been violated um, so badly, um, so badly. Uh, and, you know, there's, there's proof of that. And so um, that is why a lawsuit has been filed against uh, judges um, a custody evaluator. Sarah, Sarah, you just said that the court system doesn't have have the right to tell you what to do. So why are you using the court system to go after all these people? It's, it's a, you're talking about your God given rights. Wouldn't it's my God given? Yep, it's my God given rights to have my civil, civil rights. And this is specifically under. If you just look it up, 42 U.S. Code 1983, civil action for deprivation of rights. 
my rights have been um uh, my rights have been trying to be you know stolen from me and so using the federal court system is one way to hold the perpetrators accountable uh family court is not a court recognized in the constitution so okay okay so it sounds like it's, it's, go ahead yeah, it's, it, if you if you dig more into it and start learning about law and the Constitution and laws, um, it, it, it will become very very interesting to you and on what's really happening, um, you know, not only in our area but also, uh, you know, countrywide. So, uh, would you would you um, share custody of your son under any, any under any conditions at this point with your former boyfriend? Uh, uh, are you assuming he, he was my former boyfriend, or where did you get that from? Well, you had a child with him. I guess I, sh- I should say with the child's father. Um, Mr. Jennings needs to um, – there are certain requirements because he is a perpetrator. There are certain requirements that he will have to do in order to ensure me, his mother, um, that, you know, my child will be safe in his care based on his actions and based on his extensive history of domestic violence. It is not in the experts' opinions of um, of the work they have done with violent men. Um, you can look up Barry Goldstein as a really good reference for this um, and how abusive, quote-unquote, fathers are, um, you know, using the the uh, the fake family court system to continue the abuse of mothers. Barry Goldstein is a great great resource. Um, Bundy uh, Lundy Bancroft is another really good resource that you can um, look up on. Uh, Lundy L U N D Y Bancroft uh, B A N C R O F T, and they have uh, guidelines on uh, how to uh, effectively have custody um, in uh, a domestic violence uh, perpetrator with the father. Sarah, if you're that passionate, why haven't you hired a good attorney to go after him and to fight fight for your rights? Because I don't have a million dollars. I am a, a single, full-time, solo parent and mother raising my child um, while doing this, and no attorney um, will do this work pro bono. I don't have a million dollars. If somebody has a million dollars to lend me that can get, get it back, then that's great. But I am not in that area of uh, financial uh, wealth. Um, so I, I uh, talking with your pastor, it sounds like you're not going to say where you are, which is obviously you're right. Um, but is there anything, and it sounds like you're not going to comply with what Judge Colson ordered yesterday. So are you just going to wait it out, or are you, do you plan to show up for the jury trial in March? What's next for you? There's no jury trial. That's what people should realize is that family court is is unconstitutional because they don't do jury trials, and that is another constitutional violation um, of my rights. We are um, granted a, a jury trial. Um, it is my right as his you know, God-given mother, as a Christian, as somebody who believes in God and stands up for our rights and his God-given mother, that I, um, based on uh, all of the actions from all of the court actors, you know, not only the abuser himself, um, what, you know, what good father does this? I have, you know, this father, this quote-unquote father has barely chosen to see the child in four years, and what good father would ever remove the ch- would would go this hard to remove a child from his from his loving loving Christian uh, mother who I have worked extremely hard to stay home with my child twenty four seven three sixty five for almost four years. Um, that alone should give people pause that this person is dangerous in many different ways, but that he is so vindictive for whatever reason that he is willing to make um, uh, fraudulent statements um, uh, not only in court but now here in in open public and that's defamation um, I, they don't have I have not done one wrong thing um, I do not consent you need my consent what's the opposite of not consent it's rape and that is what the court system is it's a it's a 
quote unquote legal rape system. They need my consent per the Constitution to continue with what they are doing, and they do not have my consent. I have said that on record time and time again. There are many avenues to end this peacefully, um, such as my minister has already stated um, in in the news. Um, this is a private matter between me and Mr. Jennings. This is I don't go, I don't parent with the government. The judge is not my co-parent. The judge does not have power and authority authority over me per the Constitution. He's a magistrate. He is a commissioner. He is a public servant. He works for me. He works for you. And if you have children and you are ever in a situation like this when the government is hunting you down for something you have never even done, I would hope that you would realize that um, we are in deep, deep trouble when the government believes they can just, you know, take your uh, God-given rights away just by a piece of paper when there's been no due process, when um, uh, all rights have been, um, you know, violated. I even filed a motion, ex parte motion yesterday to uphold my rights. And what did Cleve Colson do? He denied that motion to uphold and honor my rights. That is despicable. That is not an honorable, quote, unquote, judge. That is not even an honorable person. He is um, he is dishonoring his whatever oath he even, you know, allegedly took. Um, you absolutely uphold and honor somebody's rights. And for him to deny that is all the evidence I need um, to win in federal court for sure. Okay. Well, is there anything that you want to add, Sarah? That we're not missing. This is a witch hunt. This is the media. Um, the public is being lied and deceived to. It's, it's, it, it, they're being defrauded. Um, this is, you know, what I have shared with you is the truth. And the truth needs to get out. They need to cease and desist their action against me and my son. And um, domestic violence needs to be stopped. It absolutely needs to be stopped. They have, um, you know, escalated it to this obscene level for no reason other than just um, this is what abusers do. And if you dig more into what abusers do, I highly recommend it and suggest it. But Lundy Bancroft and Barry Goldstein will show you exactly what these abusive um, males do to really good mothers who are just trying to protect their babies. Are you willing to stay hidden for forever? I will protect my son and myself and fight for my rights in um, fight for my rights for not only me, but for all the other rights that have been stolen from thousands of other healthy parents out there. And I'm fighting for your rights too. You might not be in a court situation right now, but you might be in the future. And I would hope that you would understand what our rights are and how the, you know, the family court system is, um, it is a for-profit court system. So if you don't know that, each courthouse is um, a for-profit corporation. I can send you the Dunn and Bradstreet number of Teton County Court. Happy to do that. I can send you the active bar members for um, Colson and David Hunt and uh, Jason David Walker. Um, but this is a for-profit corporation. They are the largest human child trafficking sector in the states. Um, and so that is very important to know. This is not somebody protecting, um, protecting, you know, children. This is somebody who is intentionally trying to, is harming me and my son. They have absolutely no evidence against me. There's not one shred of evidence. Hmm. No evidence. I, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I literally go to church, raise my son, provide for us, and that's my, that's my crime. That's not a crime. That is called hate crime. Um, you can't use my beliefs against me, and um, that is, you know, that is that's what they're doing. 